How's it going, boys? We got another trade to talk about. This one didn't happen today, but still, I want to get caught up. Andre Sekera traded to the Los Angeles Kings and a return going back to Carolina. Roland McEwen, who's a 50th overall pick in 2014 and a conditional first round pick, all right? So this trade actually, I don't want to say blockbuster, but there's a lot of pieces being moved in this trade. I want to talk about it. First, we'll talk about the LA Kings. And you know what? Simply put, the LA Kings need to reinforce their defensive core. With Alec Martinez out being injured with what happened with Slava Voinov, you know, these guys are desperate. And I think this trade really is is a, a, a trade that has been formed out of desperation on the on the uh, the side of the LA Kings. All right, they're in a dogfight right now for the playoffs right now. So every game counts. And without Voinov and Martinez, the Kings, you know, they find a short-term replacement. And the reason I say it's a short-term replacement is because Sekera is a unrestricted free agent after this year. And he'll be able to fetch a good deal somewhere else. You know he will. Some team will get desperate and want to, want to pay him like uh, five or six uh, mil. Maybe not five or six mil, but like four or five mil for like five years or something like that. A lot of Carolina fans are saying that this guy is very underrated. Doesn't get the you know, the uh, respect that he deserves playing over there in Carolina. So will the Kings be able to match those deals with their cap the way it is? I mean, they could still maybe make a trade or two to free up some cap space in the offseason. So we're not there yet, right? But just put it all into uh, into place. If they can't re-sign him, then they just gave up a first round uh, pick and a prospect for a rental. And I mean, if they don't make the playoffs, then this deal will really hurt them, right? So that's why I say the trade is made out of desperation. There's a lot of ifs and maybes and buts with this trade, right? The good news is that Sekera is extremely underrated and he can make the difference for the Kings in a positive way. And if everything goes according to plan, the Kings will have a deep playoff run, which they're used to, and then re-sign Andre Sekera, or Sekera, <laughs> um, who's a top-level defenseman in the NHL, and that will, uh, you know, that will obviously help them out for the future. Again, the cap space problems, I don't know what they're going to be able to do with like guys like Mike Richards, right? So... That's what I mean. It's it's going to be interesting to see what happens after the playoffs, but I don't think they're worried about after the playoffs. They're lo they're looking at winning their third Stanley Cup in four years, and that's where it's coming from, man. You see all these other teams making these big trades, like the New York Rangers, right? Uh, uh, Montreal Canadiens, they've made some moves, and the LA Kings, they got their eyes on that Stanley Cup, right? So that's why I feel it's a desperation trade. But the bad news is that they've lost three in a row and currently sit three points behind Minnesota for that final playoff spot. So... This could be a trade where it's like Forsberg all over again with the Washington Capitals, right? They make a trade um, where they deal out a prospect they just drafted last year, trying to make the playoffs, bringing in Martin Erat. They, you know, I don't know, I forget if they made the playoffs that year, but they're trying to win the Stanley Cup. They don't win the Stanley Cup, and then all of a sudden Forsberg is tearing it up, and they look back at it, and it's a big mistake. The LA King could make that same mistake this year. You know, say they even make the playoffs and get kicked out in the first round. What happens if Roland McEwen turns out to be a fantastic player in like three or four years? And then that conditional first round pick as well, right? So, I don't know, man. On the side of the LA Kings, I just don't know with this trade. They have to go deep in the playoffs and re-sign him for it to make sense. All right? And with Carolina, really there's no surprises with what Carolina did. This is a simple rebuilding trade. You move out a 28-year-old defenseman who is an unrestricted free agent after this year. And you bring in a top prospect and a first round pick. And by the way, the condition, it is a conditional first round pick. The condition on the pick is if LA makes the playoffs this year, then the first round pick is from this year. If they miss the playoffs, then the first round pick is from next year, right? So on Carolina's side, it's still a good trade because it doesn't matter when it is within the next year or two, they get a first round pick. And you know what? Let the rebuilding continue with Carolina. That's what they're. Uh, that's what mode they're in right now. They also traded Erie Tulusi to Winnipeg for a 2016 third round pick and a 2015 sixth round pick. Right. Also trading away Tim Gleason to Washington for Jack Hillen and a 2015 fourth round pick. So. Carolina, they're clear, clearly in rebuild mode. You know, they're uh, going to get a good uh, pick this year. Last year, who they get? It was uh, Hayden or uh, Flurry or oh, somebody like that. Some defenseman. I forget his name. They also have uh, Justin Falk and Jeff Skinner, right? So let the uh, rebuild continue with Carolina. And in my opinion, if I got to pick one team to win the trade, I got to say it's the Carolina Hurricanes. It could work out for the LA Kings in the long term, but there's just too many ifs, buts, or maybes like I was saying, man. Again, worst case scenario, LA Kings miss the playoffs and they can't re-sign Sekera and they just gave up a first round pick and a top level prospect, right? And that That's the worst case scenario. And if that happens, oh my God, that's a... Uh, that's a desperation trade that just did not work out for you. So I got to give 
the um, Carolina Hurricanes the win in this trade. It just works out for them as a rebuilding team. It completely makes sense. And I like what Carolina, uh, the Carolina Hurricanes did, all right? So let me know what you guys think about this trade. And yeah, man, more trades coming.